guys, I'm coming to you guys with a video here called Gaming on a Budget. Is it possible to game, to PC game on a budget? And yes, it is possible. Uh, it wasn't possible back, you know, in 2020, 2023, when damn scalpers and damn freaking you know, miners and the companies, blood-sucking companies were raising the prices and other crap like that. But it was possible to game on, you know, on a cheaper system. Um, nowadays, the cheap way to go is consoles. PS5, Xbox One, that I mean Xbox X series, S series. The S series, I wouldn't even count. That's kind of a, just, you know, a GIMP system. Uh, I wouldn't count that at all. But I would count the Xbox being cheap. But then again, though, is it really a budget gaming? Is it really budget? You know, are you saving money? Buying an Xbox X series, knowing two years from now, if you bought it today, two years from now, uh, you're gonna have a nice shiny new Xbox X series, a little cylinder one. Then, may two years after that, you might have an Xbox Series Double X or Series X2 or whatever the hell it may call itself. And you bought this thing, you know, today and two years, three years later. Now you gotta trade that in to go buy another one. Because your Xbox X series is gonna be obsolete. And eventually, Microsoft has made points of saying this. They do get rid of their old consoles. They do stop making games for it. They stopped, you know, with 360. Yes, it's been out since uh, 2006 or 7 or 8. But it was necessity. It, it wasn't because, because it was very popular. And it was very easy to program for. And the Xbox One didn't sell very well. There's a lot of gamers uh, went back to their Xbox 360s and didn't go to the Xbox Ones. Or gone to PS4s and still had the 360s. <clears throat> so it wasn't because the Xbox One sold gangbusters or... No, it was because it was crap. And the Xbox 360 owners knew that. So they bought a PS4... To get the latest and greatest, and they bought, they had 360 to play the games they want to play with their friends. Until recently, when 360 was finally shut down, uh, the shore, uh, a store was shut down. I mean, so all I was trying to shut down for, for a while ago. But I'm saying, anyway, is it this? You now, the days are gone, folks. Days are gone of us having game consoles lasting that long. We're gonna be lucky, folks. We're we're gonna be lucky. If, you know, if this game generation lasts half that time. It came out in 2000, 2020. So, yes, it may last five years. Maybe six years. Because the whole COVID thing really screwed up. And the scalpers screwed up a lot of the, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the sales. So, so, so we really can't track the Xbox PlayStation, you know, longevity. Because of the damn scalpers kept getting in the way and buying all the consoles and selling, selling them for uh, two thousand dollars a piece, you know, and making a lot of money off them. And that's one thing that I try to tell people is that don't go into gaming generation thinking you know you're going to get the latest greatest for a thousand bucks. Go into gaming generation thinking you know, you're going to get a decent rig for a thousand dollars. You can get a decent rig for a thousand bucks, no more than probably. I would probably spend up at about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars, only because you get a lot better future proofing out of it. Yeah, you can buy something at Best Buy for eight hundred dollars. You now come with sixteen fifty or sixty sixty super. It's already outdated, folks. I'm sorry. You buy a seven hundred dollar pre built, you're wasting your time because you're you're pretty much on you know negative borrow time. You no longer have time to borrow. You're done. So yeah, you can probably play some games on it. It'll run. But how many more updates you're gonna have for that 16th Super? How many more updates you're gonna have? How, how many more BIOS updates you're gonna, you gonna have for that a motherboard and processor? You know, how many more? And how many more slots can you put in RAM? And how many more? And how many more can you upgrade that graphics card if you could? You know, a lot of pre-builds now you can upgrade. Now you can you can buy a 16th Super one. Pull it out and put like a 2080 Ti in there if you had one, or a 3060 in there, and have longevity. Even though 3060 is still once again, you know, weak, it's a lot, a lot more powerful than 66 Super, or 3070 for that matter. 
you know, or six hundred or six six hundred XT. You know, you can you know you find ways to be cheap. But I think you know I think you know the biggest problem is a budget gaming is kind of a hard niche to say because you can game on a budget, but you gotta go really 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 cheap. And it's like you won't play anything but but uh, E title. But even when E title like Apex Legends is requiring a lot more processor power now, a lot more processor and maybe even GPU power than before because of the updates that they added onto it, that kind of stuff. No, even uh, no, even PUBG, you know, in you know, even Warzone, who the five of you that still play Warzone, you know, it's just, you know, it just, you know, it's maddening. To even think about it, that these pre-built come out here with these cheap pre-built come out here, and they're gimped already when they get out the box. No one's putting in, no one's slapping that processor, that, that decent processor, you know, in that old GPU. It's like, man, you already gimped yourself. It's the thing is like, no, you're trying to, you know, no, no, you're trying to fight with one arm and one little leg tied behind your back, or one leg tied and one leg missing, one arm tied in your back. You can't fight that way. You know, you can't fight. You have no way of fighting that way. You can't. You have no possible way whatsoever. And it's like, really? We're like, really? You're, 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 you're trying to, you know, uh, 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 trying to appease the masses by sitting there and going, okay, well, we're going to release the 6060 Super. We're going to do all this stuff. We're going to be this, that, and the other. I'm like, Really, guys? Really? You're going to release all this nonsense? And it's like, you know, in games nowadays, it's becoming a point now. Hell, my 37 is having trouble. Now, I'm playing uh, Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. I may keep it. I don't know. I thought about, you know, refunding it, but I thought I might keep it. I don't know. And I try to play an Ultra. It says a VRAM issue out the, out the gate. I have to play it on, on high or medium to have keep the game running at the I probably I can't even change I can't even change anything on the game. It won't let me change anything on it. So it goes from ultra back to high. So telling me that hey, my VRAM issue. So this is the kind of thing that you you gotta have to worry about. You know, VRAM issue is important. You know, you know it is important. And some people just have to accept that. You know that that you know. That you know, budget gaming does come with a lot of bad caveats. The big one being is that you know you may not have, you may not have enough VRAM to play the game you want to play it on. If you want to play it on ultra high settings with, you know, with real life blood splashing in the face on your screen, you may not get that experience because you're a budget gamer. So budget gaming does have good and bad caveats. The good is, you know, you save money. The bad thing is that, you know, you're saving money, but um, at what cost? What cost are you saving money? What cost are you sitting there going, okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna save this five hundred, eight hundred dollars, but I'm saving eight hundred bucks, but you know. I could have spent eight hundred dollars more and got you know a thirty seventy or thirty eighty or forty seventy for like twelve twelve fifteen hundred dollars and got a future proof pre built that lasts me at least five years. Now I got one that lasts me maybe a year and a half, two years. And if you can take out the graphics card, God bless you if you can. Then it, that may prolong you an extra couple of years, but if you can't, for whatever reason, you're stuck. That's why I think people need to understand about pre-built and also budget gaming. Yes, you can build a decent gaming rig for 500 bucks by yourself. Toasty Bros have proved the point. You can you, you can buy a decent game. You can buy you can build you can build a decent gaming system for 500 bucks. But you're gonna have to gimp a lot of stuff. You're gonna have to get probably a U3060, a U6600. You got to get you know a slower, I mean, no, no, beefy processor, slow processor, no AM4 obviously. Um, 
or Intel, cheap Intel, I mean, and, and, you know, you, you know, you know, and you can game on it. But like I said, guys, you know, PC gaming, guys, you know, is not for budgets. PC gaming is, PC gaming is ball to the wall, tons of money, throw it out the gaming rig, and just literally buy latest and greatest. Like I told you before, yes, you can budget build stuff, but PC gaming is very hard, very hard to budget build because you're going to have to spend money on something. You can't buy a you know a forty dollar power supply and hope that the thing doesn't catch fire and burn the house down. You're gonna have to spend probably eighty to hundred bucks on a good power supply. You're gonna spend probably a good you know hundred dollars on a you know, on a motherboard if you want something that has you no know, relevancy. You know processor, no, it's just you know, you know, you know, sky's the limit on that one. <clears throat> GPU, you can probably get a, get a, get AMD and you no know, save a few bucks. But guys, trust me, budget gaming PC does not really exist. Yes, Toasty Bros do it, but this is, let's be reasonable. How many people are going to run to Toasty Bros and, and go buy that, you know, 10, 12, no, 10, 600 KF processor, you know, with that 1660 Super to go play uh, Warhammer with? Not many people I know are going to do that. So it's going to be reasonable. You gotta be reasonable. You have to have reasonable understanding. Okay, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.